Right now we're working on financial reporting as it relates to journal entries for balance sheet transactions. Before we start, I have our accounting equation on the board, assets equals liabilities plus owner equity. And a nice little cheat sheet for helping analyze these journal entries and transactions is this. So we have our T accounts beneath each account or type. So we're gonna put plus signs on the outside. And this is because assets increase with a debit and owner's equity increases with a credit. The opposite would be true. And liabilities follow owner's equity because they're on the same side of the equation. And there we are, of course, don't forget, debits on left, credits on right. And now we're ready to do our journal entries. So I have a handful of common transactions that we see at, when they relate to the balance sheet. So the first one we see is issuing stock to owners. Now in this case, what usually happens is owners contribute cash to the business in exchange for stock or equity. So what we have here is we're gonna have our cash. And this of course is an asset. So if the owners are giving the business cash, the cash is increasing. So this is gonna be our debit. And if the company is issuing stock, it's increasing its equity. So we're gonna have stock is also increasing. Now we can analyze this further and see, let's say they're contributing $10,000. So we have an increase of an asset for $10,000. Now, does that equal an increase in an equity for $10,000? Yes, it does. So we're good. So we have our journal entry here. We have, we're debiting cash for $10,000 and we're crediting stock for $10,000. Second one, the company invests in a logo and trademark. Very common when you're starting a company, you gotta have the logo. So the logo is also an asset. And we're also increasing that. So that of course will be a debit. Let's say we're paying $400 for our logo. Now, how do we pay for this logo and trademark? We're giving our vendor cash. We're, especially if we're paying for it right away. So what we're doing is we are now decreasing another asset for $400. So we have a, an addition, we're decre or increasing an asset by getting our logo but we're decreasing cash, another asset, by giving them cash. So, does this equal? Yes, it does. Because this will net to zero and we have assets equaling liabilities plus owner equity. So, we will debit logos for 400 and we're gonna credit cash for 400 as well. The third one obtain a loan from a bank. So the business goes to the bank and says, I need money to invest or get supplies for my business. So what's happening here is usually the bank gives you money, right? You're taking out a loan. So the bank is eventually gonna give you money. So I think we already have an idea of how that's gonna go. We have cash is an asset that we're increasing. Let's say we're looking for $20,000. So we're gonna analyze it. We have $20,000 asset increasing. Now on the flip side, we're gonna incur debt. We're gonna incur a liability because we're getting a loan. So on the liability side of thing, 
we're increasing this liability by the amount of the loan. So that does our accounting equation balance? Yes, it does. So we're getting a note or a loan payable. And that's a liability that's increasing. So we are going to debit cash for $20,000 and we're gonna credit notes or loans payable for $20,000. Next, we're gonna invest in some equipment, but we're not gonna pay right away. The business is gonna pay later. So what's gonna happen here is equipment is an asset. So let's say our equipment costs us $5,000. Now let's analyze it in terms of the equation. So we're gonna increase our assets by $5,000, but since we're investing in equipment, but paying later, we're gonna also incur an account payable. Now it's different from a note because it's short term. It's something we pay within the next 30, 60, 90 days, definitely within the next year. So um, accounts payable is a liability and we're gonna increase the liability with that loan payable. So does the equation balance? Yes, it does. We have our equipment. and we're increasing that asset, and we have an account payable. This is an increase in a liability, so that's gonna be a credit, and we have equipment we're debiting for $5,000, and accounts payable, or excuse me, equipment we are debiting for $5,000, and accounts payable we are crediting for $5,000. Finally, we pay the vendor for this equipment. So let's, let's say it's a month later and we're gonna actually pay the vendor for the equipment. So if we're paying something, we're giving them cash out of our pocket, which means we're gonna decrease our assets. So let's say we're gonna pay it completely off. So actually this would still remain the same. So we have a decrease of an asset, $5,000, and we're also going to pay off or reduce or pill this account payable. So the accounts payable is also gonna go down by $5,000. Does that fit the equation? Does it balance? Yes, it does. So our accounts payable, a decrease to a liability is a debit. So we're gonna debit accounts payable for that $5,000. And we're gonna credit cash for $5,000 because decreases in assets are a credit. And there's our entries.